the insurance business, there are always gray areas. There are always challenging claims, circumstances, and if you don't have somebody who has relationships up the chain that can get things done, then you can find yourself or one of your employees in a very difficult situation where they're you know, left holding the bag on an unpaid claim, for example. Some of the specific things that we will help an employer decide is, you know, do I want to be self-funded or not? You know, and of course, when you go self-funded, there is the upside that if things go well, you're going to win, right? Part of that equation that you can capture, for example, if you're in a fully insured contract, the rebates on the drugs, those are gonna you know, accrue to the insurance company. If you're self-funded, those rebates are gonna fall to you. Maybe we wanna look at a unit cost play. So instead of a traditional fee-for-service structure, you might wanna look at a reference-based pricing type program. A little bit of disruption that can come with that, but definitely an attack on unit costs. And then within our teams, within Higginbotham, within our day two services, we have a fantastic health risk management team. They can help you, you know, design strategies to attack particular areas that might be of concern. Uh, we have a population health analyst that can look at your claims and say, hey, your diabetics uh, within your population run worse than a norm. What are the programs and point solutions out there that we want to employ to help bring down uh, those cost situations within your particular diagnostic related group? And I think that's good because it just causes us to challenge each other that much more. And I'm a big believer in the free market and the marketplace of ideas and you know, those who can execute with things better. You know, the whole marketplace wins in that regard.